Hello. You need something? Do you like it on Tifredi? It's not as nice as our isle, but it's far better than the continent. Here at least we can breathe, without smelling a corpse round every corner. And the coast is beautiful. And you know, the taverns aren't so bad. Anything else? I'm looking for a naught. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavia. I'm all yours, Captain. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little distraught. And you could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers, we never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Captain! Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time. Anything else? I'm afraid I need to be... None of this helps us. They all told us pretty much the same thing. She changed her behavior when she arrived here. Perhaps this is a sign, or perhaps not. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. You come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. I'd prefer not to get involved in drunken quarrels. No good tends to come from it. You're right. It's a waste of time.
What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Nothing, thanks. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like? Are you asking me if she's a spy? What? I'm off on Mr. Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the Norts, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left, I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. In that case, let's hide behind these bushes. We'll have a good view from there.
Perfect. We have a great view of the box from here. Well, what should we do? Shall we wait here? Them again. Oh, these idiots will ruin everything. What are you doing here, gentlemen? Am I dreaming? Or are those the same guys from before? No, you're right. It's those guys who came to pick a fight at the tavern. Could you go fight somewhere else? And why would we do that? The road is for everyone. It's true. We fight where we want. Listen, a patrol is coming. You better run. They're not fond of rowdy drunkards. We're not being rowdy. We're talking nicely. I've never heard of patrols on this road at this time. And yet it's one of my friends, a coin captain who told me about it. Oh, well, uh, maybe it's best we left then. Yeah, right. Come on, let's go. Fools. We should return to our vantage point quickly. Let's be quiet now. Well, what should we do? Shall we wait here? That's it. Suspect in sight. Messenger. We should follow him. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. But my country was interested. So I, I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the naught you're talking to? Uh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white, Desarde. But it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me... Uh... I, I will leave the town.
Ah, your excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Nords, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. Find Fernando. Do you remember him? He should be able to inform us. Yes, I remember Fernando. Let's go and see him. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young Nort named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? We're looking for a young Nort named... I've heard about... You should... But me? More question? Thanks.
It's our savior. Good to see you again, sir. What can we do for you? How are you since your release? Very well. Thanks again. And we are much calmer since those Inquisitors were imprisoned. We will always be grateful. I shall leave you, sailor. Your Excellency, Captain Vasco, what fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young nought who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. We wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern, so maybe that's where you'll find him. I must leave you. I don't really have time to chat, sorry. Good day. Greetings. May the word of St. Mateus guide you. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. I'm fine. Have a nice day, sir. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba? What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara. And yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Your daughter is accused of espionage... Espionage? 
I can't believe it. The treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near... Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. A missionary camp near an island village whose name begins with Wench. He must be talking about Wench Xavier. Shall we go there? Maybe in life you will take me in this battle. Look! Let's go to you, my friend. And let's go!
Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Let me... Let me go. I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm dying. I don't care. If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? I recognize this sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. It's Johannes. He's obviously still looking for Alba. He's questioning this man to find out where she is. We must intervene quickly or he'll kill him. Let me talk to him. I think I can convince him to let him go. You're right. Let's go. What are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. I see you folks at the Ordo Luminous are as subtle as ever. Why politely ask when we can resort to torture, hmm? Only missionaries believe that these savages would help us without encouragement. But why are you concerned by my methods if you're looking for this young woman too? I do not like the idea of leaving a trail of blood behind, Johannes. The case that sends us here far exceeds your petty mission. So you'd better leave. I made a commitment to find this young woman and bring her back to her father. I will not give up so easily. I have been promised a substantial amount of money. And I care about my reputation. Ha! Huh, your reputation? Your order has already lost the support of the Cardinal Mother for interfering with the Nords. And here you are again, involved in their business. You're putting nails in your own coffin, Johannes. Huh. I didn't see it from that angle. Well, I'm going back to San Mateus. I leave you this savage. Have fun. And happy hunting. Let's free this poor man. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. Like say. Ah, you are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaigse to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. 
But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the Tenmans. Did you want anything else? We're looking for a Nort girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. Maybe enlighten protect me in this battle. Bit of poison on my blade. This is the cave that the tortured survivor told us about. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. Look, a camp. Maybe these are Alvar's things.
No, you will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Let's go. Stop. You have won. Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. Wait. Summit's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then, why are you here? We know you betrayed the Noughts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Noughts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. And yet, the captain used us and this young woman with manipulative skills worthy of a cardinal. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. 
and we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? The investigation is progressing, Admiral. Hurry up, or I'm afraid he'll soon take action. But be careful. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Hello. You need something. What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof. Doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. If he's a loner, would make sense he needs some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance, as if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me, it's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet... Farewell, then. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he would... Anything else, sure? I'm afraid I need to be... Hello, Your Excellency. I hope. Very well.
Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan. But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level, and his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. All that this young woman told us only confirms our suspicions. This man is a complete traitor. We should follow him after dark. We may be able to catch him in the act. Good day. What can I... We have a few... I'm all... Are you happy on Tierfredi? More than on the continent, that's certain. But being on solid ground always makes me feel a little too anchored. The island is beautiful, the natives rather friendly.